Hello. Hello. So we're here. We're going to do some planetary annihilation. Titans. Yes. So you want to do a campaign of this one? Yeah. So this is, for those who haven't played this or its predecessor, uh, basically a real-time strategy game. So yeah. you are going to create your little space fleet and go and destroy everything in sight. That's mm -hmm. effectively the game, right? Yeah. All right, so what's, what's, what are you choosing here? I'm choosing fast commander. Okay. And then, yeah. And you're going on a huge map. Mm -hmm. And you kind of maxed everything out, basically. Much has been lost since the reawakening. Others have come online. Like you, Commander. They seek answers among the stars. Find the others. Rip apart their planets. This is basically like a story. Tutorial. They're, they're like stuffy stuff. So I, I think the takeaway is annihilate. Yeah, yeah. annihilate. I like that. It's quite low on story. It's just like, mm, you're going to go and strategically wipe out... Uh, everything. 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 Yeah. I'll take complete vehicle tech, I love vehicles. So you get an option at the beginning. Was that like a bonus or something? Yeah, or? it's a bonus. Sub-commander? Heck yeah. Hostile commander sighted. Battle selected. So at this the beginning, are you, are you essentially looking for someone? Mm, you're at the beginning. You're you're traveling the stars, finding database data banks on planets that have already been um, that have like been left there, I guess. Fallen from yeah. the other wars, and then you run into some baddies, basically. Mm -hmm. Like space pirates. Although I guess. you might be the baddie in this game, I yeah. think it could be argued. It's it did say in the tutorial thing. Um, you're you're a commander. You're trying to annihilate the other commanders, and they try and annihilate you. So yeah, you seem kind of morally dubious to me. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, Maybe I'll start there. So basically, you come to the world. The, all these little green dots are deposits of ores, and you're gonna choose an area to land in. So you're looking at both something that's strategic, has enough resources, but also allows you kind of expandability out. Mm -hmm. This one's like a really fast building. I like that the, the music is getting dun dun dun. It's like we've already gotten to the end boss. Dun dun dun. Very dramatic. So, whoa, that guy is actually quite fast, isn't he? I know, normally it's like slow movements, but... So that little dude spraying the stuff is your, your main dude, and he is basically... He's set up resource extractors you're mining right now and mm -hmm. now you're gonna construct what is Bots. this a, a vehicle bay or a bot bay a vehicle bay i don't have bot bays i only have a vehicle bay so he's gonna yeah he's 3d printing his his vehicle bay mm -hmm. so this dude his arm is a giant 3d printer yeah he's basically. just horking out metal out of his arm <laughs> yeah um, let's not ask too much about the science of this and now you're going to choose what units to create mm -hmm. and he basically does it, it all it, for it, you. Why? Why he? I assume because it's uh, it's about war. It's a uh, he. Seems like a dude. Yeah, but it it's does. Not. It it's does. It. it is yeah. fully an it. This isn't even like Warhammer. This is like robot it. it. This this one is. I think. I this one definitely is. Um, it could, could be a lady. That you know what? This that one robot is might go and do like uh, knitting and like you know stereotypical lady things. Who knows? Maybe uh This is um inspired by Warhammer, definitely. It feels like it. Yeah. It's, it's kind of the Warhammer hammer ish feel. Why why can't they be pink? That's what I want to know. Like why I'm purple. I'm purple. No, I know, but they could be like straight up fluorescent pink. They why? can. Oh, that you can choose that? Yeah. Oh, okay. You... Um in AI skirmish battles. Ah, like I see. AI skirmish gotcha. Inside. I like I we, you're just getting started. My first thing is to attack the, the gender politics of a uh, game about planetary annihilation. Yeah. And I have a sub-commander that does a lot of things for me. Hmm. I, can, I don't attack this commander. You can, yeah. So is that you or the other dude? Other, This is the other dude. So the, the other dude is already like, expanding like crazy. Yeah, I don't know how, but... So they're, they're on I it. guess they're going like this. This. They're just spraying metal everywhere is what they're yeah, doing this. so they're keeping that dude like ultra busy this, this guy can work here. right so they just went 
yeah ultra fast yeah and at the top you basically can you can see your power consumption and your resources that you have so in terms of like the things you have to take into consideration it's less about less about resources and more about strategy i would say yeah right? strategy as all of your vehicles and all of your little things can do oh, different stuff like contact. those vehicles can help your commander print things they've there's got there's a lot of wow commanders there. and so now there's also a things. it's interesting they're going for like a sea based thing it almost yeah it, but it, this that's this not going to do them any good unless you are parked right on the edge of the ocean as well although they can build the the things that go across the ocean and so i guess you you have a hard time to hit the things that are in the ocean yeah Hmm. Unless you build the torpedo launcher. And they can build the things that do both. Yeah. Um, it's an intriguing game. It's got... Uh, you, you've been hooked on this game for, like, a few weeks. Mm-hmm. I think I played... I played, like, one game of this. Uh, I? two. Three. Really? Yeah. I really... I think I played, like, one. I think I played one full game. Maybe that's what it is. I might have, like, nibbled at it, but... Yeah, it hasn't caught my imagination the way it's caught yours. You you like... This is your favorite part of any of the kind of Civ games that you play. Or any RTS games. You like destruction. You're like, I don't know. Do I want to do off-world where I just, you know, mine resources? Or do I want to go and destroy people with giant weapons? I think I want to... You're not. Look at... They're, so they're it, expanding what? already. Oh my gosh, dude. You got some issues happening here. You're, you're taking... You're looking around when you should be, like, printing more stuff, I think. And this part, this part of it, I, I don't like having a sub commander because you de defeat them so quickly. You can just mm. hang at home and just do stuff. But you, you better get focused here, buddy. Mhm. Mm they won't attack me. They're definitely dead this round. Or like destroyed, annihilated. So you're you're printing out tanks, essentially. So you're you can queue up the amount of stuff you want to be printing. So you're printing, mm -hmm. what are you printing now? Just I'm different printing, kinds of yeah. units? All of the exact same kind of unit, but... Huh. And there is, that. What that's what I found interesting about the game. Initially, at least, there's a limited amount of variability. So you, you kind of have, instead of them puking all the options at you, like, you've unlocked a bunch of options over time here. Yeah, you'll unlock more, like, sub more complex things that add sophistication to the game, which I think is that's a that's an interesting mechanic. I like that that you, they they don't just swamp you with details right out of the gate. And they're trying to do with like like Civ or a game like that that has a uh, a curve to it where it gets more complex as the game goes on. Yeah, that's important in these games. I made a mild army of tanks or ants. S see, these guys are already going after them. So how many factions do you have on the map here? Uh, a few. A few. How can you tell? Is that the top left? Is um, that white? Yeah, purple? it's it's yeah. So there's this three. one's mine. This one's that. You're purple, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then white is getting trounced currently by going and attacking orange. No, white white is isn't getting trounced. They're no, actually they were well, they went off and attacked orange. Yeah, they're they're trouncing. I think white's gonna come after you soon. No, no white white's part of my team. They're a sub commander. Oh, I see. White is part. Ah, oh, I thought you had to control your sub commander. Oh gosh, Zane. So this is gonna last about three minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I get it. Unfortunately. Yeah. No, that's way overpowered then. Why is it? Why do you get sub commanders? I don't know. Did they just give it to you? Yeah. That, um, I I got it as a tech. Ah. Ooh, I can make. <laughs> I can make a mobile nuke. I make I can make a no mobile nuke. That sounds like it's gonna do some damage. Yeah. The the. Old. I like the. Uh, at first, I didn't like the simplified um, graphics, but I've come to kind of like it. I like that you, the topology does provide a real um, strategic element in the game. Like if you get up on a plateau. Or if you get, you know, like you've got, you're on this other side of this giant crevice. Although, look at your guys bottlenecking. They're trying to get through from that crevice. There's a plateau and a crevice, and they're all, in, instead of going around the plateau, they're all trying to get through. <laughs> That's not working well at all. 
Some guys should just go here. Like there should be. Yeah, you kind of. There you go. You need to like click some of them to say, "Hey, you guys go around." We're currently attacking with them. I see. Everyone just attack. Just attack. Oh, there we go. So now they're going around. I like that despite the amount of stuff going on, you can both zoom in like this and enjoy kind of the granular graphics of what's happening. Or you can zoom out and choose huge swaths of vehicles and stuff and move mm -hmm. it all around. I like that, that shift in scale. Yeah, you go to this mess and, you know, tell 40 units to go over here. I, I'd say you guys have won this one. Is that yeah, the end? I'd say. No, we need to defeat the oh, okay. commander. So he's got like 10 seconds left. You basically could have done nothing. And you would have still defeated that guy. Yeah. Oh. Right now they've retreated. But I don't oh, know where is he retreating doing. to? So they, uh, they, oranges retreated to some hidden location. I suspect on the ocean. Or the other side of the ocean. Yeah, the ocean. I'm gonna go move my base of operations. Over. Energy storage full. Build more units. All fabricator units to go here. So you gotta find some re oh I see you can take over their resource enemy sites. Looks like Okay, oh yeah, enemy oh, there commander we go. detected, so Done. Want them to stay over here and just launch a full on attack. And you guys and you guys over here. I said you guys over here. I think they're trying to. They're like, oh we can't do it. There's a mountain in my way. I think you're too fast. Is the no these guys? They like, just well, they're driving. Just give them some along. time. Give them some relax, relax. They'll make it. It's a long drive. I want to make a nuclear gotta, missile launcher. Everybody's gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that would serve you no purpose though, at this point, would it? What's the range on those things? Ah, uh, entire planet. Oh, that's ridiculous. But how much resources do they take? Ah, uh, like? fourteen, fourteen thousand four hundred. What does a normal thing take? Um, 10,000. So really not that much. Or... So do, can you make anti-nuclear yeah, things? Yeah, yeah. And then people can shoot down your nukes? Yeah. But I don't think they're, like, really... What did I just build? No idea what I you just... I just built a... Yeah, this thing. Alright, well, so they're, uh, they're still in their way. Everybody's... <laughs> These dudes are They're still showing up. Showing up, yep. Guys, attack! Yeah, that's weird that they're kind of taking forever. There we go. Oh, he doesn't have a chance now. It's white and? Yeah, there's no, not a chance. Although, oh, interesting. So he's, he's backing up. Although, you're circling around. Okay, so you guys have been firing at the thing in the ocean. So his defense thing. You got those guys up top that you can bring down, Zane. No, these guys are No, white. not No, not you. More up, these? more up, more up. No, no, no. The, uh, there, those. Oh, I, I, <laughs> they're not even going to make no, it down to the show. And then mushroom cloud. Wow, that was nice. Congratulations. You've destroyed a planet. And yes. so now what's the idea is that you guys are going to uh, basically take over the planet? Oh yes, and we forgot about this. What's the, this? My game glitches and every time I every time I win, it crashes. And yeah, that's and a that's a really it, weird and annoying yeah, glitch in the game. I can't. It's I. Can't, it just We're plays this in, weird. Ooh, oh, no, hey, okay. What? I spam clicked it. That has not happened yet. That's cool. It have for me while I was playing. Huh. Oh. Oh man.
it lags like crazy because I'm playing on like a mammoth sized uh, map. So how many how many matches are in a campaign of this size then in an Uber map? A lot. <laughs> what does that mean? Twenty five. I don't know. Have you f completed a full campaign? Yes, I've completed two. Two full campaigns. And two Uber sized campaigns. And the matches though go fairly oh, no, quickly. There isn't that much metal nearby. Just spawn in the middle, I guess. Like a four. Four fabricate or uh, metal deposits right there. Yeah, nice. Five. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I'm go down. I'm go down. I'm go down. And my my commander's really fast, so it's built for the quick people. Built for the quick people. No, like not the quick people. Slow people can't use this guy. Hey Zane, this commander's not working for me. Yeah, I like how fast this guy moves. Yeah, the guy I used was painful. It was like, yeah. I'm going to go across the map now. This guy's speedier than a bot. It's ridiculous. That's pretty sweet. Then you can just build, build, build. Okay, here. Yeah, get him. Exactly. Sure, I, wish, I wish it was easier queuing. So I guess another issue is like not creating your stuff so that you don't have bottlenecks created when you get your printer going are you able to rotate the building when you're about to set it down um no really yeah that seems daffy um, is there no rotate button rotate 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 oops, oops. used to do that i don't want to press any weird buttons and there's nothing on the screen that indicates to you a rotational hey, button there's a rotational button weird Sea combat utility vehicle. Yeah, that is weird to me. Oh, you know, Zane, look on the right hand side. See that green button that with the circle around it on the right menu? Uh, right menu. Uh, this side of the screen. Okay, right. And then up a bit. See that one? No, go up. Go up, go up, go up. Green. What is that? Reclaim. Oh, never oh, mind. Oh, reclaim. Oh, these are all tactical commands. Where's the air factory? Okay, so they're going for an air. So, okay. So, so you yeah, want to attack them immediately. Yeah, because they're going to come at your factories really hard and fast. Yeah. So you need to almost to create more factories so you have a maximum output. Yeah, that's what I was doing, creating like 200. Then having these guys create. You create a power plant. You create a power plant. You create a power plant. Looking thing. And the ants are what? Ah, uh, tanks. I forgot I didn't want to build them. I wanted to play like three of those, two. And a whole bunch of tanks. And you're at about half resource capacity right now, it looks like. So you're able to. Energy's bad. Yeah, because you don't have access to that much. Is there another green dot on your left? Uh, yeah, there. Okay, so you could theoretically a access more energy if you need it. But I don't really Or more resources. No. These guys can work here. That guy can work there. Okay, two of you work here. Two of you. Two of you work there. And, and so you, you can work there. use the little bots to help like the the main commander guy to help progress the the production so everybody's 3d printing yeah which is an interesting idea like you create 3d printers to do 3d printing yeah or to build you create 3d printers to create more 3d printers yeah basically and they're like out of my right way now i have 20 dudes Out of me way. Move. Eh. They're whiny, whiny robots. Eh. Use your words. What do you want? Eh. Sir, he doesn't have a voice module. He just makes whining sounds. Eh. Uh oh, here come airships. What were they doing? Oh wow. Oh, so your sub commander's already on it. 
Yeah. Some yep. commander's like, no, no, no. I'm going to wipe myself out first. Don't worry about it. I got this. And you're like, all right, we're going out. Get on out there. So they built up on a plateau that kind of gives them defense. I like that you've built an area that gives you mountain defense. Does that help at all with air strikes? No. Probably not. So this would help if there was a land assault at, um, coming at you. Yeah. And then we can build torpedo launchers. Or galactic Oh, that's a, that's a good idea. So this will help against the planes coming. Yeah. So you need a lot of those, really. But they won't even, they won't even, like... Make it that far? Yeah. That's your theory? Yeah. And plus, I do have um, vehicles that shoot down planes. And mm. plus, this dude right here shoots down planes. Right, but there's no idea of how many planes they're going to send. Yeah. Sometimes they just send too many bumblebees. And, uh, yeah, that bumble... This guy got mountain defense, too. Yeah, he's up on a nice high spot. It's like a double plateau. Yeah, it is. On the only weird, like, metal-ish planets, you get plateau, plateau, space, plateau, sp space, plateau. It's like you get really high structures. I don't know how they come up with the topologies for the planet if they're... They're pre-made. Okay. They're not, like, generated? Yeah. Somebody's actually built these? Yeah. Oh, everyone, get this. That's a, that's a lot of... It's a lot of bullets that will take. Yeah, I think that's going to wipe out all of your stuff taking that one guy At least he still out. has one. Have one. Uh, I don't even think you're going to... Make it. I don't know. Whoa, he's trying to get you guys in there. Uh, yeah, no. Look at that one. That one. Oh, he's like, hey guys, I got this. No problem, guys. I got this one. Uh, no. No. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't get it. They're trying to take a route down here. It's not really working. No, because they Oh, that's a quite the slope. Oh, I see. They're sitting below, firing up at the plateau. Hmm. That's cool. Meanwhile... <laughs> We have really bad metal production, but hmm. we're actually doing pretty good in general. Although you're, you're almost, it, it seems like it's stuttering your production. Like you're no, running out. No, it isn't. Out. Look, I'm going fast. Faster. But they keep pausing. Uh, you should get another ore extractor on the left there. It's, and there's this weird glitch. It turns me orange. Now it turns me white. Now it turns me hmm. blue. White, orange. Mm, white, weird. blue. How your taillights look different. Oh. Are these guys coming already? Us sending out tons of vehicles is pretty nice. Oh, they're building a defense steward for us. Oh, that's Thanks. nice. <laughs> that's hilarious. And then they're, they're building like, another. Hey, hey, idiot, we're going to build some defense turrets for you. Thanks, AI. You're the best. So this time, that should destroy this this thing. What is that thing? Ah, uh, robot. Robot dude thing, Commander. Yeah, that thing takes some... Serious it, beating? Yeah. And then they just get exploded at the end. It's ours. So they blew a lot of resources building that thing? Yeah. Oh, that was, the, that was the only thing you had to beat? Was yeah. that? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Wow. Well, we should end the episode here. That's a good place. And uh, you're going to continue the uh, the massive... Oh, war. I only destroyed one unit. The, the unit you needed to win. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> and then I built... I built... 132 units. Yeah. I do like the weird statistics it gives you. So, like, how... What does I it say? I used 100... Procured. 227,000 procured, 121% used. So you used more than you had? How does that work? Mm -hmm. Oh, and my average um, says here, 
if you want to break it down in like so oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> I don't even want to look at no, this. No, that's, it's that's just too many numbers. S s s statistics. Yeah. Oh, and my efficiency was 80. Averagely, my efficiency was 88.2. So, so what does that mean? You're using my metal, most of the yeah. metal that you're extracting? Mm -hmm. So you can, if you were very inefficient, you'd be like, well, I spent too much time extracting and not enough time building. Yeah. Well, that's kind of useful to know. Well, I didn't. I didn't have enough extractors. That's the problem. I only had 88.2%. Hmm. Yeah. All so. right. Well, we'll see how you do next time. Yeah. Till then.